So if I'm determining you guys to find the ninth term, this would be kind of a problem, Logan, that I would like expect you guys to do. Um, so to determine the ninth term, or what I was talking about when you're determining if it's geometric or, or not, I might ask you the ninth term and not tell you what type of sequence it is. So we'd have to look at this and say, all right, is there a common difference or a common ratio? And hopefully, you, I'm not going to write it out, but you guys can see that. Actually, we just should write it out. Um, we notice that there is a common ratio. If I do a2 over a1, I get 3 over 1, which is 3. Is there a common ratio of 3 between each and every term? Yeah. Yes. So therefore, this is a geometric sequence. Now, if I want to determine the ninth term, I already have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms, right? So would it make sense then just to compete, con con continue to keep on multiplying by 3 till I get to, to the ninth term? Yeah. Yes. I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm going to do the problem, and we'll go over it. Um, but let's see, 19,000 what? All right. Did you just do that manually? Just kept on multiplying by 3? No, I did it 3 and then Oh. Which is the same. Okay. Yeah, just keep on multiplying by 3. Now, but the problem is, what if, um, well, well, we'll get to it again. Um, so now, what we're going to use is, I want to use the explicit formula. Okay? Because if I want to find any term in the sequence, if you guys remember, when we first talked about sequences, what we talked about sequences, if, you know, we, remember how we did the first five terms of the sequence? Do you guys remember that? Whatever number, whatever number in the sequence I wanted to figure out, I plugged that number in for n. So if I want to find the nth, if I want to find the ninth term, I'm going to plug in 9 in for n. Does everybody see that? Yes. So I'm going to do a of 9. Now, wherever n is equal to 9, I'm going to replace that n with a 9. Do I know what the first term is? Yeah. Which is 1. And then my ratio, we determined, was 3. And then that's going to be to the 9 minus 1. So it's actually going to be 3 to the eighth power. Because the difference is, in this case, Brianna, the reason why it doesn't work to yours is because we're not starting with 3 to the first power. We're actually starting with 3 to the 0 power. So you'd have to be a little bit careful. So that's why this formula is very helpful, for sure, kind of way to work. But if it did start with 3, then you'd work. Um, now, a to the ninth equals 3 to the eighth power, which Brianna is going to be. Six thousand five hundred and sixty-one, and there you go, done. Fine, okay. Oh, eight and nine. 